In this video, I'll show you how to download and install the Epic Games Launcher. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. We really do appreciate it. And make sure you watch this video right until the end and let's get into this guide. The first thing you need to do is go and open up a browser and I personally use Google Chrome but you can use any browser you like and you need to come to a search engine. I personally use Google and all you want to do is go and search for Epic Games Launcher just like so and do keep watching because I'm showing the official website and the full install guide. Then all you want to do is make sure you go to the official website which is store.epicgames.com and here we are. And once you're on the website, if you don't already, I recommend going and creating an account because it's much easier to go and create an account on a browser than in the launcher. So all you want to do is go to the top right and go and tap sign in just like so. And this is gonna go and give you a lot of different options of how you can go and sign in. And at the bottom, you can also go and sign up as well. So if you don't already have an account, go and tap on sign up and you've got all these different methods you can go and use. And I'll catch up with you once you've gone and created an account and signed in. And then once you've signed in, let's go and download the Epic Games launcher. So let's go and tap on it just like so. And then it's gonna go and drop the download. As you can see, it's 150 megabytes. And I do wanna quickly add as well is that every browser goes and downloads things slightly differently and where it stores the downloads. So in Google Chrome, it's in the bottom left, but you can always go and find your downloads in your file explorer in the downloads folder as every browser is going to put your downloads somewhere different. And the Epic installer has now finished. Now, all you want to do is go and run this file. So you need to go and find it and maybe in your downloads folder. In my case, it's in my browser. So let's go and tap on it just like so. And as you can see, it says preparing to install. And then you can come and close off of your browser. And as you can see, we need to go and choose where you want it to install and then press install. And you may go and get a Windows security pop-up. Unfortunately, I can't go and record that. It just doesn't let me. Now, all you need to do is sit back and wait for it to install. Then it will say verifying update and it will start downloading the update through Epic Games because previously we just downloaded the Epic installer and now it's sort of installing itself in its own way. So once again, sit back and relax. And then after it's finished downloading, it's going to say installing prerequisites and you may need to go and do another security pop-up as well, but just click yes if you agree to it. And the Epic Games launcher is now loaded and all we need to do is go and sign in. So I'm gonna sign with Epic Games personally, but you can use any login you'd like. And then it will say preparing the Epic Games launcher and that is literally it. And then once you first load it, it's gonna go and ask you for an install location. And this is a location where all of the games you download on Epic Games we put. I'm gonna press cancel for now as you can set it at a later point. And there we go, you've now gone and downloaded and installed Epic Games Launcher. You can look in your own library, but you probably want to go and look at the store to go and find games you really want. Um, so as, the, as you can see, we've got Goat Simulator and you can go and search for games and you can just scroll through and see if there are any games you like and take a look at the free games as well to go and save yourself some money. If you found this video useful, please go down below and consider leaving a like. Peace.